Okay, here I have a Chevy Venture 2002 in a 3.4 engine. First of all, I'm gonna say I'm sorry for, for my English. I'm not an English native speaker, so I'm gonna try to explain what I what I've learned from Paul Donner, A.K. A.K. Scanner Donner, and I already. Uh, got his ebook that's what I've learned and this guy is very kind he he's really teaching me how to diagnose this kind of things okay someone else was working here as you can see the computer someone else tried a junk yard computer cables are all around you can see Okay, in this truck we have a no start, no injector poles. So what I'm gonna do is gonna show what Paul describes in on one of his videos about the reference wire and what to do if you have a good reference wire, reference signal. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna crank the the engine, and you're gonna see. I'm connected to the purple with white wire at the computer. Sorry about the focus of this thing. This this one right here is my purple with white. That one that one comes from the module module right over there. And this thing right there is the the connector. Okay, what I want to show this show you is this. Okay, I have no pulse. Look at this. Okay, no no injector pulse. I got that thing from Amazon. That's an universal to test that injector signal now I'm gonna show you here the sorry about the, the glare but I'm gonna show the, the signal coming from the module to the computer okay so that's when you got a good signal but then but you don't have injector poles and you have I didn't mention this but this thing has a spark I'm gonna show you this. Paul also mentioned that this is it's safe to do this on this kind of of design. I'm gonna show you the spark. Okay, there I have the spark. Now what I'm gonna show you is what what this guy is good at it. What he explained about this thing is that it has a cam sensor. He, I emailed him, telling the, telling him what was what was my problem, and he told me to check on the cam sensor. So here I have this pin right here is connected to the camshaft camshaft signal that goes to the computer. So what I notice is that I have on the red one, red with white, I have the voltage needed for the sensor to work. I also have the, the ground, but the sensor is not working. Okay, what I'm gonna do is using the pull down design. This is a pull down design. Okay, I'm not gonna explain you that. You can learn that from him, from his ebook. Okay, I'm connected to the battery, battery negative. I'm gonna use my test light. Okay, I'm gonna crank the, crank the engine with this remote starter. And you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Okay, I'm sign filming, I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna be touching this pin with my test light. I'm cranking it and you're gonna see the pulse right there. 
and I think that this thing is gonna start. Oh, sorry, because I mean it's hard to do it. Okay. Okay, and as you can see, I'm trying to touch the the tip in and also cranking at the same time and, and focusing at the at the. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be doing this. Okay, so you are gonna be able to see that light coming from that light bulb. Here I go. I'm gonna try again. See that that light blinking. Okay, I'm gonna try with a different hand. I'm gonna change this here. So now I have him a bit more easily to do it because this thing. Okay, here I go. Okay, you can see. No injector poles, right? Now I'm gonna do again the. Gonna do this. start before I don't know it keeps running this time it doesn't do it doesn't want to do it but I'm gonna tell you one thing I'm very sure right now that this thing is gonna need a cam sensor I already have it I'm gonna install it and maybe I can show you how how it's gonna no, let me try again you can see that light because it's difficult with that yellow okay I'm gonna try it here I go again okay that's it Okay, here I have my cam position sensor. That's the old one. It's connected. Okay, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna crack the engine. You're gonna see no pulse right there. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, now I'm gonna do the one little trick that pole. Show it on one F one F one F one truck F one fifty ninety six. I'm going to connect my new camshaft sensor. Okay. While I'm cranking, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do be doing like this. So the sensor is gonna receive the signal and it's gonna and I'm gonna have the injection poles. I'm gonna show you that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do it here. Okay, as you can see, it's running. I have the sensor right here, the new one, it's connected. Okay. The old one right there. Okay. Now I have an extra pole. So once again, thank you, Paul Donner. 
of this and help you guys out there.